Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday News Show. Welcome. Welcome back from uh, Mallorca. Thank you very much. You look very tanned. I feel very tired. Is it tired. more windblown? Yeah, windblown, wet, soggy, damp. But it was good, very good. Damp squid. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, at the weekend, the IFSC Lead World Cup returned and it went to China to Xiamen. The competition was close for both men and women, with perhaps routes that were too easy, meaning the athletes were grouped close together. In the men's comp, the three podium finishers all topped the route, so the judges had to look back at previous rounds before the finals. Tomoa Narasaki got the bronze medal, while Tai Se Homa took the silver. Adamondra has an incredible record of winning every lead competition he's entered this year, and he continued his run of form in Xiamen, topping the route winning the comp and taking the overall Lead World Cup title for 2019. In the women's comp, once again, all three podium finishes topped the route. In fact, six women went for the final move of the climb in the finals. Jane Kim took the bronze medal due to countback, and Akio Noguchi took the silver medal, once again showing her class. All the focus was on this year's new star, Shei Yun Su. Competing in her first IFSC World Cup season, she's taken the fight to the more experienced athletes all year, and once again beat them all in Xiamen. She won the comp and took the overall title. I can't believe we've got our winners. We've still got competitions to go. Adam Ondra, uh, Shein Su, I'm trying really hard to pronounce that properly. I've got it phonetically written down and everything. Very good. Yeah, that is Charlie Bosco's pronunciation, all right? So it's his fault, not mine, honest. Uh, so that, how many left, how many rounds left? That, I have no idea. There's definitely one in Japan, there's another one in China, so there's at least two, I think. Um, wow. So yeah. It's, Those and, guys have dominated. Ah, it's crazy. Like Adam, to, to win every, you know, IFSC event he's entered for the lead is, is bonkers. Uh, and uh, Shane Sir as well, very young. I want to see 15? She's something, I don't, I can't remember, it's 15 I or 16, 15, I think. 16, yeah. But Yanya Gambra, uh, it, it's incredible how things have changed, you know, because a couple of years ago, she was the rising mm -hmm, star, mm -hmm. super young, beating everyone. Now she's the vet. She is the vet and coming forth. So this this leads into this brilliant battle for the Olympics, I reckon, because it's going to be those two battling it out. Adam Ondra looking on form, so it, it's all to play for next season and for the Olympics. Shane has still got a qualify though, hasn't she? Has she? Yeah, she hasn't qualified yet. No, 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 she hasn't qualified yet. I don't think she's done a huge amount in bouldering. Okay. Yeah, or in her speed, I think like she's just come up with through the lead. This and and year. Adam as well, he isn't qualified to lose. His Adam to lose is on the horizon. Maybe while no, oh, very nice. Wild card. You're saying he's going to lose? To lose is on the horizon, I didn't say that. Oh, <laughs> that's good, good wordplay though. Uh, but yeah, nice, that's exciting. Yeah, it's, it's good cool. to see some new kids on the block, as well as Adam Andra still dominating. Mm -hmm. I, like, I'm sure you don't know this, but I wonder how many he's won those championships. Uh, I don't know that. I'm going to guess at four. Four? If anybody else knows. Oh, what, overall titles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's that many. I, I'm going to say four. Okay. What are you going to say? Two. Let us know in the comments. Uh, <laughs> right, next up we are going over to Italy, in particular Sardinia. On Friday the 11th of October, Polish climber Aleksandra Taistra clipped the chains on the legendary multi-pitch Hotel Supramonte in Sardinia. She first tried the route back last season, but due to bad conditions and the weather being too hot this summer, she had to set her sights on an October send. The route consists of 11 pitches, the hardest being 8B, with the easiest, the poorly protected final pitch, which is 6B+. Alexandra managed to climb the first six pitches in five hours, and then she had to top out on the final pitch in complete darkness with some trad placement necessary. Sketchy stuff. So that route is a legendary route and it's put up by the man himself, Rolando Laka, who seems to be in the, in the news quite a bit these days. Um, if you don't know who Rolando Laka is, you should. All right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, huge. And that what always blows my mind about that is is why aren't they lying on a beach? You know what I mean? Like Sardinia is beautiful. The sea is like crystal clear. I've been there, and all I wanted to do was drink a cocktail. The idea of like going climbing is is, is insane. So. Yeah. No. Well, it is actually. an amazing route though. Like you see, and I think it, I think the fact that it's like in a cave, I guess, mean that it kind of it's better for the the temperatures. It's maybe a bit cooler. Mm. But then it just goes oomph like that. It's insane. Like I've seen people try to film it, and it you can't really get the scale of it on video, it's insane, it's good. Now, from Sardinia to Germany, and Matilda Sutherland has climbed her first 9A. On October the 17th, 2019, 27-year-old Matilda Sutherland climbed the Elder Statesman, 9A in the Frankenjura. She's become the first Nordic female to climb 9A. The route was first put up by Frankenjura legend Marcus Bock back in 2011. And Matilda's is only the second female ascent of a 9A in the Frankenjura after Chiara Hanka climbed Sever the Wicked Hand earlier this year. 
Yeah, really cool news that, and uh, I'm in email communication with her at the moment because mm -hmm. we're going to the Franklin Euros uh, at the end of November. We're at least going to do an interview with her, hopefully a little bit more, and I can't wait because I've never met her before, so very much looking forward to that. What's your opening like email banter to someone like Matilda Sullivan? Um, weirdly, a guy on Instagram put us in touch. Ooh, I know, nice. and then she's emailed me, but I haven't emailed her back yet. So I've left her hanging for two days. Apologies, I have had... Matilda, if you're watching, oh, I'm sure you are. Uh, apologies. <laughs> Um, also, the video of that is live on uh, epictv.com. It's not our video, but we've embedded it, uh, all that jazz. Um, I was going to talk about another story, but there's a really good connection between that story, which is the elder statesman, and this next story, which is a trad climb in Italy. Planet Mountain has reported that Michele Caminati has made an impressive ascent of the 8B plus roof crack green spit all on trad gear. The route, first freed in 2005 by Didier Berthaud, was tried by Michele back in 2012, although he only really started seriously on it in 2015. The ascent also marks a significant comeback from a terrifying fall he had whilst on the Gritstone back in 2017, where his rope snapped after rubbing on the rock. What was the route? The elder statesman. Luckily, he walked away with just a broken wrist and a heel. Yeah, it's a terrifying video there, you just saw there, where his rope snaps. He actually put that up as a kind of educational resource as to what can happen if, you're, if you fall and your rope rubs over the rock. Um, so if you can avoid doing that, don't. Yeah, don't. Um, but yeah, so amazing comeback. Well done, Michele. Now, Miguel Riera, considered to be one of the pioneers of deep water soloing in Mallorca, has sadly passed away after his battle with cancer. Miguel brought Mallorcan deep water soloing into the climbing community psyche. He discovered famous areas such as Cova del Diablo and showed Chris Sharma the famous arch of Es Pontas and the world's hardest deep water solo. He was active in developing new areas and contributing and writing guidebooks. He will be missed. Now this is especially prevalent because I've literally just got back from Mallorca this morning mm -hmm. uh, and standing in front of that Es Pontas uh, arch is just like to, to to look at that thing and go, there's a climb up that is outrageous. Like, oh, really? It's it's just so high and so blank looking. So uh, yeah, very sad news. But you know, he, he will be remembered for what he's brought to deep water soloing. Did you see many of his routes? Uh, I we didn't go to Co uh, Cova del Diablo, but right. obviously I've seen like all the videos of it and Sharma doing that. And he like Tim Emmett. That's how it all started. Is Tim Emmett sort of emailed him and was like, "Is there any deep water soloing on the island?" Oh, okay. He was like, mm, "Just a little bit." Tim so Emmett, pioneer. Spoiled. Yeah. Tim Emmett needs more credit for what he does. I think he does. He's a legend. Uh, especially his hair, mm. which is incredibly impressive. Curly. Yes, when it's long. Uh, anyway, right, we're going over to Switzerland now, where there's been a nine ASN. 8a.nu reports that Swiss climber Catherine Chung, along with climbing partner Alexander Rohr, have made an ascent of Jungfrau Marathon, a 9a route in Gimmelwald. It's Catherine's second 9a, which she has been trying since last October. The route is about 20 meters, overhanging around 35 to 40 degrees with hard movements on bad holds. In 2018, Chung climbed her first 9a. Caban au Canada at Raoul near Sion in Switzerland. So I don't know a huge amount about Catherine Chung, but yeah. she's done two 9As, well, so she's obviously pretty good. It's interesting because we got lots of comments on Instagram and people mainly being like, talk about her because you know she's a little bit underground. Yeah. So hopefully this will blow her up a bit. Let's get her industry. overground. Yeah. Let's get her on the orange line. Mm -hmm. She's a metropolitan line. Uh, we've had this discussion before. It goes metropolitan underground is underground, underground, then it goes overground. That's what I mean, but it's under. It's, Transition, it's okay, fine. fair Yeah, it's that. No, it's, no, it's I get just, it, I get I just it. I'm just a Londoner and it's just you, close to my heart. And... You are, okay, whatever. AC counter, 9B counter. <laughs> Can I start off with an apology? Because someone sent don't me- Don't apologize. No, well, this you, isn't- You don't a, have to apologize. I'm apologizing because someone sent me a very detailed Instagram breakdown of all the cock-ups that we've done. Uh, uh, and I haven't- But maybe they've cocked up. Maybe, but I haven't fact-checked his cock-up thing. Can you say that on, can I, can I? That sounds weird, doesn't it? But I haven't checked it, so <laughs> <laughs> apologies about that. Uh, I will get to checking it. Uh, but I've got two for the AC counter. First one being Matt Foltz, who sent uh, Railway 8C. Uh, that's his fourth 8C, all within six months. Is it a fridge? Um, it's not a fridge. Okay. Can we, I think we should give you like a fridge hug challenge, because it's your favorite. I love a fridge hug challenge. Yeah. I haven't climbed in about three months, but you know. There we go, start whatever. with a fridge hug. I'll do a fridge hug. Uh, Matt, he's on there, isn't he, somewhere, I think. Matt, he must be. Must be. Yes. Must be, he's near the top. He's middle, he's middle ground, he's mid-table. Mid-table. Oh, man. Um, I, 
I don't even. There he is. Okay, so. He's got a mid, oh, look, because I messed it up because I gave him two points and then I think he got downgraded or something. So he's now back with a one point on that one. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Uh, and then my second one is Rasmus Holm. Oh, and I have no. no idea anything about Rasmus, but I was Instagrammed about this. He climbed Monkey Wedding quite a while ago. Uh, but nice one, Rasmus. You're now going on it. You're definitely not on it. Sorry. Right. He... Okay, so Rasmus, he's on it. Is there any 9Bs? Uh, there's no 9Bs. Oh. I think for the, everybody's going on about digitizing it. We'll digitize it at the end of the year. Like, Flo will do it. Mm. Uh, he's been wanting to do it for a while now. We've kind of been saying no because it, like, it's better in analog, but Flo wants to digitize it, so we'll let him do yeah. it at the end of the year. He loves drawing charts and adding all this onto it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have a, like a prize giving ceremony. Yeah, we'll like send Flo off to give the medals. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan Gasolfi is still waiting for his trophy from last year. By the way, you know we promised we'd give him one. Oh, did he win last year? Yeah, he won last year. We never. He never did. He did it like a little video though, didn't he? Yeah, he did something. Um, we, you should also start thinking uh, of December because December's when, well, the end of December, New Year is when this finishes and we've got to decide whether we keep it going, whether we change it, what we do. So do have a think about that. because A lot of calls for the E10 counter. I'm with that. I hate the AC counter, as you know, and I'm, I'm up for a 9B and E10. A 9B and E10, okay. I'm, I'm not really too fussed, to be really? honest. So as long as not... we have a red pen and paper, and we're able to write names. Right. That makes me happy. Well, that's debatable. You can see my handwriting. No, no, it's very good. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. It's got worse. Right, media, media. Uh, first up, we've got um, a film by a filmmaker called Andres Taulo, who made a film about resetters. Now, I've seen a few films about resetters in the, in the past. This is probably one of my favorite, uh, simply because it's well shot, it's nicely told, it's got good audio, it's nicely color graded. I mean, I could go on, but here's a clip. Kind of like a giant jigsaw puzzle, but a lot of the pieces can fit, it seems, anywhere you like. So you've really got to pick and choose to put the right holes in the right place to, to make it work. You kind of need something to push from yeah. there. If you don't prepare well, you could get to the two meters or a meter from the top, and then you run out of holes. like the sequence with the volume configuration. Very rare that you'll put your feet above your hands, ever, almost. I had the idea that it would be really fun if we could have some kind of knee bar. There you go. See, I think this is especially prevalent considering the uh, the debacle or the debate around the root setting in the IFSC World Cup. It just shows it's, it's not easy. It's, it's not easy, absolutely. And it's an art form and it's the way they do it. And like, this is what the film does. I think it just basically shows like the w different ways uh, the guys have to kind of come together and be like, put their blah, da, 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 da. And it really is like, they have to kind of like, it comes out of them, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, it's not just like creative, a, isn't it? It's, it's not like, like a yeah. yeah. It's very creative. Uh, I'd love to talk about climbing daily because we put out a video on Tuesday about Linda uh, Sojin. I think I pronounced that right, Linda. Uh, we're in Magic Wood, hanging out with her and the Eric Carlson crew. Now this is like a two-parter in a weird way because Eric did a video on her climbing new baseline, which is this very famous 8B plus. His video sort of took a different angle from our video. We we're always going to film well, literally. it. Literally. Yeah, literally. He was, he was there. He was, you were there. Yeah, we were there. It was always going to be like a collaborative thing so if you've seen Eric's watch our video because you see a it's slightly much different better. side it is better isn't it yeah Flo did a much better job <laughs> <laughs> anyway here's a teaser Yes. 
Kom igen! Kom igen! Kom igen, kom igen Linda! Ja. Oh my lord. No. No, my feet. Do check that out. She's a very underground climber. She's gone from like 7B to sort of 8B in four years. Uh, and she's such a nice lady. So yeah, love that video. Very good. Uh, we've also got lots of stuff that we've embedded. Uh, Matilda Sutherland, as we mentioned before. We've also got uh, a new Hazel Finley video up. Mm, it's cool. Uh, which is an amazing crack climb, which is huge in America. And some Last TV videos as well. So go check out epictv.com. They're not gonna be on the YouTube channel. You have to go to epictv.com. I've also got a request. Yeah. And I'm gonna say it now in the middle of the show. Can you please go and subscribe to this channel? Mm. There, that's it, that's the request. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So and your say. vlog and no, I don't. Don't just subscribe to my vlog. You can I, subscribe to his vlog because he actually makes videos. Vlogs. But uh, I haven't made one for a while. Maybe that incentivise me if I get to a thousand. Anyway, no links anywhere other than this one and his vlog. Mm -hmm. uh, what's next? Uh, shop stuff. Now we've got a bit of a restock uh, of Scarpa stuff. So Scarpa shoes everywhere. Love a Scarpa shoe, as you know, it's one of my favourites. So we've got restocked on that. So if you've been missing your favourite Scarpa shoe that we haven't had in stock, go onto the website, check that out. What's your favourite Scarpa shoe? Uh, I'm still a big fan of the Scarpa v VSR, the blue one. Very good. Not just because it's blue, but sort of because it's blue. Better than not, you like blue and more than orange. What the Drago thing? No, the the V the, the V. Oh, the inst yeah. the other one. The, the inst other, yeah. yeah, I haven't ever yeah. worn it. Apparently, it's stiffer, but I've never worn it, so I have no <laughs> idea. Uh, there was something else that's been restocked. Kettle head torches. Yes. Uh, if you want a head torch for the winter, if you're like projecting in the dark, like a madman, you might want a head torch or two or three. They're good video lights as well. Yeah. Quite directional. Uh, give a good look. And for nicer photos as well. If you get like 15, get okay. 15. Do it. Buy some. Why not? Anyway, comment of the week. Comment of the week. <laughs> Mine is very, very simple and I've yeah. lost it. I've lost it though. Hang on. Uh, Flo specifically said, get your comment of the week ready. And I took a screenshot, right? And then- Is it not just, I love you? It is, I love you, but I want to see who it's from because I just want, right. So the comment is, I love you. No capitals, no punctuation and sort of done street style, you know, like cool, that like you is in a you. That's street style. Street style. Uh, that's from The Cathador. Now, what I want to know about that comment is, who do you love? It could be like a, a plural you. Oh, you as in the us. Mm -hmm. As in you as the team. Mm. Like in English, it doesn't define whether it's a plural you or a singular you. No. I did not. Is that, have you made that up? No. Really? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, so it could be the U Epic TV Climbing Daily team. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, mate, you need to. Who are mate? I said, mate. Whoever you are, can you specify? Do you love the team? Do you love me? Do you love Hugo, Flo, Franco, the dog? You can't see, but he's behind the camera. Who do you love? Uh, who do you love? Um, Miguel Alonso has said we should make it a challenge. If Matt goes through a whole month without destroying the spelling or pronunciation of a name, person, forward slash gear, we should we should get him a big reward, like whatever piece of gear he wants. I want very expensive gear. Well, you kind of get it anyway, so we should like the reward should be something else. No, I want a portal edge. You want a portal edge? Yes. Well, we're not going to get you that. Why but, not? Because it's too expensive. But it should be like a real achievement for me. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, for. okay, so like, depending on what everybody thinks of his pronunciations today, this could be like ground zero. Okay. So you have to like, from now on, for a month, if you do it, uh, the guys in the comments will pitch together and get you put That's edge. awesome. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're very generous. Ah, oh, thanks guys. Well, no. thank you for that. No worries. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Um, have a nice weekend. It's only Tuesday. Yep, yeah, it's Tuesday. You too. Or Wednesday. Weekend. Yeah, thank it's you. It's Wednesday today, isn't it? It's Wednesday. Yeah. Or is it Tuesday? Who knows? See you later, guys. Bye.